Glamazons, welcome back to my channel. It's Makita, founder of GlamazonDiaries.com. Today's video is something a little different than what I normally do. I normally do fashion, but today I wanna to do beauty because I get so many requests on Instagram about how I do my makeup. And y'all, it is so easy and simple. I don't do a lot. I don't I do not do a lot. I should be doing more um, because I do love playing with makeup, but um, I don't really have a lot of time to just play with makeup. I love fashion probably more than that. But if you're interested in watching or learning a few tips and tricks, I have it all in this video for you. Before we get started, make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. And please make sure that you have the ring notification button on, which is up here, so that when I post a new video, you'll be alerted immediately. And you can find me on Instagram, as well as Twitter, Facebook, and my blog, Glamazon Diaries. So let's get to the video. Before starting my makeup application, I've already cleansed my skin, moisturized it, I've added my sunscreen to make sure that my skin is protected for the day. So right now I'm using the Pat McGrath Sublime Perfection Concealer in MD25 to conceal dark circles and highlight the bridge of my nose. It's full coverage, it doesn't cake on and it doesn't move. So I'm using my beauty sponge to just blend everything in to make sure that there's nothing that is going to cake. That is very, very important. I want a seamless application. So next up, I'm gonna be using my foundation and this one is from Chanel. It's my go-to Le Beige in B140. It has a neutral undertone and it's light to medium coverage, which I love because I want my skin to show through. Um, I really don't like to look too made up, especially for every day. So I'm using my beauty blender to just blend everything to make it seamless. And before that, I use my Huda Beauty Build and Buff Foundation Brush to just blend it in. Even though I sometimes use my fingertips to apply the foundation first before adding my um, beauty blender. I rarely bake my eyes, so the only time I do that is when I'm having a full beat, a full face beat. Um, so I'm skipping that step for right now, but I'm doing my brows and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade. And I'm also using my Sephora brush. I'm just taking caution and drawing it. I just want to make sure it's natural looking. So it's using short strokes, just really, really short, quick strokes to go with um, the featheriness of my own eyebrows. And I want to create something that's natural looking. Um, and I'm going to follow up after I do this by brushing it out. Now I'm going to set my eyes and I'm using Pat McGrath's Finely Milled Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Setting Powder. Ooh, that was a mouthful and I'm also using the complimentary brush or the matching brush with it to just set and this brush just really goes into nooks and crannies I mean like it goes everywhere to make sure that everything is set and then to add color back to my face I'm using the contour palette from Sephora the colors are universally flattering I mean I love this mahogany matte color I'm using that to just sculpt my cheekbones and I mean for my skin tone it really gives me a nice just fresh glow and it doesn't have any shimmer in it but it looks really really good on and then next up is my holy grail product y'all this is from tom ford and it's the skin illuminating duo in flicker when i say it looks like money y'all it is like the best product ever so i use the darker shade to just contour around my face around my neck and then i also use it um, around the bridge of my nose to just give it a little bit of a sculpt you know i'm not trying to be aggressive about it but we're just trying to look good a good beat but natural looking so i'm just going using light touch and i'm just simply adding a little bit of a a little i mean yeah she's like okay yep, 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 yep. this color it goes so far i've had it for about six months and I use it pretty much every day and it still ain't going nowhere so next up I'm going to use the lighter shade for an incandescent glow to my cheekbones and my temples this is the money shot y'all uh it is like hot girl summer and you get this amazing glow so I just add a little bit of that on my cheekbones around my temple and then a little bit on the bridge of my nose just for a little bit of a you know just a little little je ne sais quoi but not to go overboard because this one is really really good um next up i'm going to do my eyes and i like to keep it natural but i play up the shape using eyeliner so i'm using the hazelnut palette from pixie and all the shades are so wearable i love that you can use it for everyday makeup but you can also transition at night for a smoky smoky um a smoky eye 
Anyway, so I'm using Bark as a transition color and then Russet for a little dimension. Russet is this orangey one and it looks really, really good, especially on my skin tone. It gives me some color. So I look like I actually tried, right? And then I'm adding a little bit of a shimmer with copper in the middle of my eyelid. Um, to lift up my brow a little bit more, I'm adding sage to that so that it just gives my eyes a little bit of a, a little bit of a sheen. Um, and then I'm going to start tracing my eyeliner using the darker shade of this palette before I trace it over it. It makes it easier for me when I use actual eyeliner and I'm using this one from Chanel. This one, it does not move. So I don't want to ruin it by not tracing first. Yeah, I'm a novice um, when it comes to makeup and drawing eyeliners. So this one is my trick. I just trace it first with powder um, eyeshadow and then I add my liquid eyeshadow. And then here's a neat trick that I learned from one of the Instagram girls. So to get the perfect cat eye, you just do three dots, one, two, three, and then you follow up with another one on the top and then you just trace it all together it's like connect the dots but it makes making a cat eye so easy like so so easy I'm using the clay depot dual eyeliner and this is the pen tip and the brush tip so I use the pen tip to do the dots and then the brush to create the flick and it makes it so easy to make a cat eye try it let me know if you try this and give me a thumbs up if you actually really um, if you succeeded but anyway next I'm going in to set my makeup with the Huda Beauty resting boss face setting spray because I am going to be wearing my mask today and I'm going to follow up by setting everything blending everything in with my makeup sponge it just makes the makeup look seamless on my face and then to finalize everything I'm having a little bit of a moment with my eyes and this is the new Sephora mascara it's volumizing, it is lengthening, it is all that. I love the brush, it hugs every single lash and gives them the wings to fly and flutter. So I do two coats, I curl in between that to just give me a little bit more of a boost because I don't wear eyelashes. So last but not least is a bold lip because a girl needs a bold lip if I'm gonna do a natural makeup and this one is Vendetta by Pat McGrath. It's a gorgeous matte from her Matte Trans collection and it's it's universally flattering as well it looks super super amazing on it's very bold so I wear this especially on days that I'm gonna shoot because I want something to pop so this is my entire look and it looks amazing I really love it it's very natural so BAM that's the end result what do you think I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I told you it was like super super simple super easy I'm gonna link all the products in the description box below and please feel free to leave me a comment give me a thumbs up if you love this and I'll see you next time in my next video